Now, these days we have the Eurofighter and the F-15, but during the First World War the names were very different. The Snipe, the Pup, the Camel. Uh, many were based in Essex at Stowe Marie's Aerodrome and were part of our defences against the Zeppelins from Germany. By 1919 the aerodrome was abandoned and soon fell into disrepair, but now local people want others to know about the importance of the former airfield. It's remained virtually untouched since World War I. Abandoned in 1919, ghosts of its military past are said to haunt the site. Now these buildings are being restored for future generations. It, it's so unique. There isn't another World War I airfield with the buildings intact like this. There, there are none. So it, it's totally unique for the country. It's just a unique site and uh, cannot be lost. It was planes like this that flew out of the airfield 90 years ago. Sopwith camels defended the country against Zeppelin attacks. Russell's dream is to eventually have historic aircraft housed at the site, as well as over 20 buildings renovated. This was for supplying the whole airfield with their water needs. Um, also, just outside we have a um, reservoir, and the reason for that is really to keep enough water here in case there was a fire on the airfield. So. That's you know, there for fire requirements. And what's that building over there? Well, that building there is, is really what the, the whole aerodrome is about um, because that's the pilot's ready room and that's where the pilots would be um, waiting there for their instructions to back off over the uh, east coast um, to go and attack the Zeppelins. It sort of makes the uh, hairs on the back of your neck go uh, up actually. We're just looking out towards the uh, other ranks canteen there and that's where the, all the rank and file, as they call them, would uh, go and eat. Time has stood still on this site. Not much has changed. Some of the buildings have been used for storing grain over the years. Once the project is finished, it will be a valuable educational resource. It's very easy to lose sites like this. Um, with regards to the future and uh, you know offspring of you know generations, and the 1418 war uh, is on the curriculum. The restoration will take two years. The site will also house an Essex Wildlife Trust visitor centre. This hidden pocket of history is soon to be rediscovered. Felicity Simper, BBC Look East. You see, I had no idea that was there, did you? I know, no. Why don't you learn something and every day? I think those pilots look great in the breaches. I know. <laughs> <Very smart. laughs>